What is up, Fit Pros? Andy here with FitProBusiness.com. Hope everybody's doing well. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing as I deliver weekly value to you on in the trenches advice that's working for me and my business, uh, as well as what I'm learning from other industry leaders in regards to sales, marketing, and general business building tips on how to take your business from where it is now if you're feeling stuck and take you to the next level. So please consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to get your business to turn around and three ways to get your business back on track if you're feeling stuck. So stick with me. Okay, how to turn your business around, three ways to get your business back on track. So if you're feeling stuck within your business or um, business is like riding a wave. So you're going to have highs and you're going to have lows. And maybe right now you're in a low with your business, not feeling motivated or just kind of feeling stuck um, and need a way to get out of it or get yourself unstuck and get, help yourself get motivated and take your business to the next level. I'm going to give you guys three ways that you can get your business back on track. So number one is to take ownership for your business. And what I mean by that is sometimes we can get caught up in making excuses or complaining instead of trying to find solutions to help get our business back on track. And a lot of times what happens with that is we're just in the wrong mindset. You know, maybe there's a, um, we're blaming the, the cheap gym that opened up down the street or another a competitor that um, you feel like is taking your business. But in actuality, it's just that you're not taking the actions necessary to help move your business to the next level or, or to advance your business. So um, it's important that you start taking ownership for where you're at in your business and also take ownership for where you want your business to go. So stop making excuses and complaining and start finding solutions. I know that may sound harsh, um, but it's just the absolute truth. Anytime in my business, you know, I've been in this industry for up to 50, for 15 years now, 13 years with my own personal training studio. Anytime my business has gone through a low or hit a sticking point, it's been my fault. I have been the reason my business is, is there either something with my mindset or the actions that I were, was taking that wasn't allowing my business to um, get to where I wanted it to be. So stop making excuses and complaining and start finding solutions. And also I wrote on here a level 10 exercise and what the level 10 exercise is, things that you can ask yourself Level 10 exercises being one is being very poor and 10 is being extremely, you know, awesome. So one of the things that I do in my business is I will write down, you know, what level am I playing at in regards to lead generation? And, I, and to ask, I'm asking myself a serious question. And if it's below a seven, then I know that I need to pick up my game in regards to lead generation. So some of the things you can ask yourself is what level am I playing at in regards to lead generation? What level am I playing at in regards to client engagement and client retention? What level am I playing at in regards to marketing myself and getting my message out there? If any of the important questions in your business, what level am I playing at in regards to tracking my expenses and managing my business? These are questions that you have to ask yourself on a regular basis. And if you were playing at a level seven or, or I'm sorry, at a level below a level seven, then it's time for you to step up your game. So seven, uh, the goal is to play at a level seven or higher with the critical points in your business to help advance your business and to help get you to the next level and to get you unstuck. So one of the things I recommend that you do is review your expenses, find out where you're leaking um, income. Sometimes we have like a membership that we belong to that we're not utilizing or we're just spending money somewhere where we can actually save money, whether it's regards to our internet or our phone service. Review your bills on a week on a on an ongoing basis to see where you can minimize your expenses, and also start looking for opportunities where you can grow your business. You know where who can you reach out to today that's going to help grow your business? Can can generate a lead? Can give you business? Start looking for those opportunities, and they will start presenting themselves. So, number one on way to get out of, from uh, being stuck within your business or get your business to the next level is to take ownership. Number two is to know your numbers. So stop winging it within your business. You have to know your numbers. Um, some of the examples I gave on here is your active client count. How many clients are you at right now? What, where do you need to be in regards to client your active client count to meet your goals 
for your revenue for your business? What is your projected re reoccurring revenue for your business? How many clients are you keeping that are going to be paying you every month? That is your base. And where do you, how many leads and how many people do you have to close the next month to hit your goal, whatever it may be within your business? I set goals every month for how many leads that I want and what I want to be as far as my monthly total. But I also have a projection of what I'm to be expecting from that next month from the existing clients that we have. So um, important numbers to know, active client count, your projected reoccurring revenue, the leads you want to generate, the leads you generate, and what your closing percentage is, what your attrition rate is, how many clients you're losing on a monthly basis, and also what is your cash flow. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how much money you're pulling into your business. What matters is how much money that you're taking home, your personal income. That's what matters. So stop winging it within your business. Again, I've been, I'm guilty of this myself for a lot of years within my business um, of not knowing my number, just kind of getting by, knowing that I was going to have enough money to uh, supply a living for myself and my family. Um, and simply put, if I would have paid closer attention to my business and learned to to manage my business better earlier on, I would be a lot further along than I am now. So take my advice, stop winging it within your business, know your numbers, and um, it's going to help you guys know, instead of, you know, blindfold, giving yourself a blindfold, it's going to open your eyes to um, possibilities of where you need to go, what you need to do to help get your business to where you want it to go. And one of the ways that I um, do that within my business, manage my business is with PT Minder. I talked all about PT Minder uh, business management software in a previous video. I'll share that in the show notes. Um, it's a fantastic software, uh, web-based software um, that does everything I need within my business to um, help me know what my numbers are. And I can just go on and want, with the push of a button, know exactly what my active client count is, where, where I'm at as far as monthly revenue, with the leads that I got in, what our closing rate was, all of the things that I need to know within my business um, right there in PT Minder. So I highly recommend you looking into their, to them as their service, and I'll include a link um, in that in the show notes. So number two, know your numbers. And lastly, number three, promote, promote, promote. Stop sitting around and waiting for leads to come to you. Go out there and get them. Set a leads goal every month and be proactive. Um, we talked about this in previous videos about um, giving, giving, and giving more of yourself in the forms of value-added content, content marketing to your target market. Keep giving, keep giving, keep giving, and what's going to happen is get, you're going to invoke the law of reciprocity. Um, I talked about this in the previous video as well, as I'll show I'll share that in the show notes as well. But the law of reciprocity basically means if you're doing, if somebody's getting value from you and um, you're giving to them, they in return want to give back to you. And the way that that it happens within our businesses, we're giving value to somebody. When you put the right message in front of them, they're ready to do business with you. They want to do business with you because you've already added so much value to them. It's the it's the law of reciprocity. So also we talked about in a previous video is a law of procession. And basically what that means is it's a ripple effect. So when you start really focusing on generating leads within your business and you get proactive with your marketing and you're promoting on a regular basis, leads are going to start flowing to you from ways that you're not even marketing in. So this is just the, um, it's, you're putting out there that you're gen wanting, you're wanting to grow your business and you're promoting leads are going to start flowing to you to you from areas that you are not even aware of. And this is called the law of precession. It's very powerful. Um, and I highly uh, recommend that you guys um, just start giving of yourself, start promoting, and these leads are going to start coming in. The, also, the, ne the other thing that I recommend is to just do, keep focusing on doing the next right thing that's going to help you grow your business. Then whatever the next right thing it is for you to do, instead of spending time on you know, YouTube or scrolling through your phone, Instagram, Facebook, do the next right thing that's going to move your business forward while you're trying to get yourself unstuck within your business. So those are the three ways that you can get your business to turn around and get your business back on track, help you get you, get you unstuck and move you to what your goals are within your fitness business. So number one, take ownership. Stop making excuses and start trying to find solutions. Do that level 10 exercise on um, the important questions that you have within your business and play it at seven or higher. Number two, know your numbers. 
start using a, a, a business management software. I recommend, personally, I recommend PT Minder. I'll, like I said, I'll include a link in the show notes. Know your active client count. Know what your projected revenue is. Know what your closing rate is and your, how many leads you're getting in. How many clients are you losing on a monthly basis? Just in general, know your cash flow. Basically run your business. And number three, promote, promote, promote. I can't express this enough. Marketing is not an expense if you are generating leads off of it and making your money back. So stop looking at marketing as an expense, especially paid marketing, and start looking at it as a way for you to grow your business. As long as you are marketing correctly and generating leads and it's a break even or you're actually making money off the marketing that you're putting out, then it's not an expense. Give, 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 invoke that law of reciprocity, reciprocity, and also focus on that law of procession, and those leads are going to start gener- coming in. Do the next right thing. Those are the three ways you can get your business unstuck. If you need any help from me, please do not hesitate to reach out. I am here for you guys. Um, schedule a 30-minute business coaching call. You can do that at fitprobusiness.com backslash breakthrough. And uh, basically, that's a 30-minute coaching call where we dive into your business And I help you get unstuck, help you find maybe areas where you can improve. And um, in general, just give you uh, the, the things that are working within my business. So till next week, we'll talk to you soon and have a good one.